We are building the Wordle project from the YByte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. Previously, we saw how a situation where I have more repetitions of a letter in the guest word compared to the chosen word leads me to a misleading situation. For example, here, the chosen word was crane. I tried doing nanny. Now, nanny had three ends. Crane had only one. The first two ends end up saying, telling me, look, I end up being yellow. It, it ends up implying that there are three ends in the chosen word, but when there's only one. We saw this in more detail in the last video. In this video, let's try to analyze the situation a bit more closely and come up with an outline of a solution that we can implement in the code. Now, let's make a few observations. First thing first, as we discussed, the problem comes only when the number of repetitions in the guest word is more than the number of repetitions in the chosen word. Now, this is very important to understand. If the number of repetitions itself is equal, there is no problem. We saw this in the last video as well, but let's see this again. Chosen word has is adapt, which means chosen word has a repeated letter. That itself is not a problem, so long as my guess also had exactly same number of A's. So in this case, two A's. If I chose, if I guess, say aroma, two A's again here, one in the right position, one in the wrong position, but perfectly fine. However, the moment I have guess which has three A's, that's a problem because these two happen to be A, they happen to be green. This is becoming yellow, which is misleading. In fact, this should have become gray for me. So the problem really is. As we discussed, if the number of repetitions in guest word is more than the repetitions in the chosen word. Also, and very, very important to understand, the problem is only seen for repeated letters that are in the word but not at the right location. Now, why is this so? Because think about it. If the letter is not part of the word, no matter how many times the letter is being repeated, it will have to be made gray and our code will in fact make it gray because really our code is just going letter by letter. On that particular letter, it checks it's a part of the word or not part of the word. If it's not a part of the word, the label is made gray. So our code is already okay from that point of view. Also, the same logic applies that if the word the letter is part of the word, there's a typo here, this should be word, and at the right location, again, it's not a problem because our code will for sure make it green and that is indeed the way to happen. So the point I'm making is that this problem you know, gets limited to only those letters that are becoming yellow. And this is an important observation. This allows us to limit our search and effort in the right direction. At first look, this may all look very confusing, but these observations guide our path. In fact, we can now come up with the scenarios that we have to solve for. And that's exactly what I've listed here. So remember, the problem is when I have more repetitions in the guest word compared to the chosen word. So I look at three scenarios. Chosen word has only one repetition. Chosen word has two repetitions, but my guest word has say has two, three, and three. Now, which means that you know, chosen word, for example, is one uh, repetition, say dates, one A. Guest word is adapt, two A's. Chosen word is say money, one N. Guest word is say nanny, three N's. Chosen word is fussy, so two S's, and here three S's. CC. Now, you might wonder why did I not consider other cases like four repetitions and so on? Well, remember. The word that we are guessing has to be a valid word. That's the first condition we are put in outside of this loop. The word has to be a valid word, which means that it at most can have three repetitions. Now, narrowing this down to these three possibilities, in fact, brings a lot of clarity because now we can analyze each of these carefully. So let's look at this. Let's say my chosen word was dates and I guess adapt. Again, two here and one here, two in the guess, one in the observation, one in the chosen word. Let's think about it that if I were not to do any processing, like the way I leave my code right now, what will happen my code right now is that in case of adapt, I will have yellow and yellow on both the A's because both the A's are, well, are part of the word, but not at the right location. In general case, however, of course, I could have one yellow and one green, but in this case, I'll have both yellows. However, think about it. The final word has only one a which means that my correct solution will not demonstrate both of them as yellow at most one of them can be yellow now how do i solve this well i know that you know they can be at most one yellow i'm getting two of them let me make one of them gray in fact i will convert the first one into gray now this is actually important because let's say what happens if my second a was actually a green it means that my only yellow there must become gray and that gets covered in the fact that I'm covering the first one as gray. 
think about this carefully this is actually pretty pretty interesting similarly let's say i have three in uh, you know guess and i have one in chosen word if i let's say did not do anything in this case for example i'll have a situation where my second n would be seen as green third n will be white so i'll be in this situation uh, because it will be yellow green and yellow when i encounter this again think about it there is only one in the chosen word which means that i can have at best one green and also at best one yellow i cannot have a green and yellow together which means that two out of these three must become gray and we will convert the first two again it's possible that the first two you know were let's say yellow and the third one was green if i make the first two gray i am okay because the third one green has been taken care if it turns out that all three were yellow again i'll be fine because i'll convert the first two to gray so i'll end up with only one yellow in the end which is what i need to do likewise for the third situation i have two here i have three here let's say you know in this case it's going to be this situation gg uh, you know because both of them are in the right position and the first one must become gray because i can have at most two yellows or at most two greens or of course i can have one yellow one green either way i cannot have two yellows and one green which means that i could have three yellows potentially i'm going to convert two of them into gray now think through this very very carefully i just want to highlight that in this case for example gg is not possible for the others because again there's only one you know um, uh, one occurrence in the correct word i urge you to maybe take a pause here convince yourself all of this is correct because this forms the basis of the solution it is amazingly elegant having narrowed down the problem to only yellow letters and then analyzed all the situations in fact a beautiful solution is coming up really really elegant of course this took a lot of effort to come to but that's how programming is right if we can analyze situations up front we'll find that the solutions become much more clear so what is the solution well we are going to find out the difference between the number of occurrences of the given letter in the guest word and the chosen word let's call this m we are going to change the first m occurrences we see as yellow to gray now again you know this is best understood through some examples i really want you to think through this carefully uh, this is quite beautiful think about it let's say i have the chosen word as dates now i go and you know uh, guess say fussy occurrences in the guess word is two occurrences in the chosen word is one as we discussed previously uh, you know uh, earlier i am going to make the first one of these gray and i'll be fine because then it will become f u gray s or yellow s and let's say gray y that's perfectly fine similarly in this case i have got two s's but i am going to make the first one as yellow because remember the final word had only one s which means if i have a green already over here i can't be having another yellow so this must become green so in both cases changing the first s will do the job for me and that's exactly what i'm going to do take another example let's say i've got m is equal to 2 which means two repetitions in the you know um uh, so, sorry uh, m is equal to 2 because i have got three in the guest word one in the chosen word so the difference between them is two i'm going to convert the first two into gray for example in case of cc i'm going to make this and this as gray that will be fine because there's only one s in the final let, final word and hence i can have only one yellow in the uh, you know in the actual word likewise for abaca if i were to go and choose abaca in this case we are talking of a there are three a's in the repetition in the guest word only one a in the you know um, final word so i am going to convert all this into basically both of these into gray and that will solve my problem let's take the third case where i have three in the guest word two in the chosen word so again m is one now this is interesting i had the word adapt i guessed abaca both the a's are in the right place my first yellow happens over here i am going to make it gray uh, i'm going to make it gray because remember there can be at most two greens or two you know um, yellows the fact that i have had two greens automatically makes sure that the third one has to be a gray now the best part is that when i do this i don't have to look at all the other letters i can just look at this letter and figure out if this is the first yellow i'm going to make it gray anyway similarly let's say the word was level and i choose eri now again my objective is i'm going to make you know there are two e's in this there's three e's on this i'm going to make my first one as you know gray so i'll make this e as gray and i'll be fine because there are two e's here and i'll be left with one e which is green and one e which is yellow 
again please convince yourself this has taken some amount of thought to come to but the final solution is kind of very very elegant as we'll see just a few lines of code i'll be very happy to discuss this with you but i suggest look at several examples come up with examples of your own convince yourself that converting the convince yourself that that's this solution where we find the difference between the occurrences the m value and converting that many in the beginning uh, that many yellow values to gray is the right solution i hope you found this interesting in general if you think this way of learning appeals to you it makes you understand better look at our website because we have many 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 such activities for you take care so much bye bye